Hi everyone. I am Miss Jean. I am one of the children's librarian at Santa Clara County Library District. Today we are going to make a silly monsters. That's why I'm wearing a silly hat. So if you are ready, um, I'm going to show you here are some of the supplies you will need for your first art project. Here, the toilet paper tube and just a piece of color paper and then pencil, ruler and scissors, glue stick and some pipe cleaners if you have it and uh, googly eyes, if you don't have googly eyes, it is fine. And uh, what else? Oh, buttons. Ask your mom for buttons. The biggest buttons, the better, okay? And uh, if you have all these supplies in front of you, excellent, you are prepared. So what you can do right now is get some color paper, and then use scissors to cut them into long strips. So let me show you. It will be like this, all these long strips, okay? It doesn't matter how wide it is. It can be two inches or just one inch. And then you will need to cut around 10 of them for the second monster. So uh, you can be, uh, different colors or just one color, okay? So these are the supplies. And let's see. I think we should be ready, right? And let me just, we are going to get our Okay, I think we are ready. We are going to start our program now. Hello everyone, I am Miss Jean. I am one of the children's librarian at Santa Clara County Library District. So today we are making a silly monster. Do you like my hat, my silly hat? Okay, I'm going to introduce my helpers. I have two helpers there. Oh, Miss Jennifer, okay, now you are in the, in the light, okay? Miss Jennifer will help us make uh, um, uh, this, today's city monster. And then next week, she is going to host the next uh, art program. And then there is Miss Kila. Miss hey, Kila. Ms. Kia, she did a woven basket from grocery bags program a month ago. So that was on June 16th. If you miss that program, you can go to library's um, a Facebook website and find that program and make some woven basket. Okay, so we are having this is the list for the supplies. I was talking about it a few minutes ago. And uh, so if this is your first time entering Zoom, you need to be aware that uh, you don't have any access to the audio or video. So if you have any questions, just use the Q&A section and ask questions. We will answer you. And then if you are watching Facebook Live, you can put your questions in the comments area, okay. So talking about monsters, <clears throat> there are so many different kinds of monsters all over the world. So the ancient Greeks, they have vivid imagination. So they imagined so many different monsters. The most famous one, the first one I'm showing you is this Cyclops, okay? The Cyclops is the one-eyed giant. So we are going to make a monster using the toilet paper tube like this one and make a monster like this. 
I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. I'm going to show you how to make the cyclops. So for the materials, we will need a toilet paper tube, color paper, um, some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, it's fine. We will work it out later. And then pipe cleaners and pencil, Sharpie and ruler, scissors. So first we are going to make the body, then the eye, then draw the mouth, then the hair and the arms. So let me put it aside. With the paper, we are going to cut a four and a half inches by seven inches rectangle. So I'm going to use the ruler to measure it. This is a four and a half inches. And this is seven inches. So let's move the ruler parallel to the button and then draw the line and move the ruler parallel to the edge and draw the line. Now we have this rectangle shape and I'm going to cut it. The next step is uh, apply the glue to the paper, not to the toilet paper tube. Otherwise, you will get your fingers sticky. So I'm going to put the glue on the paper. Remember to co cover everywhere. I want to make sure all the edges have the glue on. Now let's align the, the edge to the side of paper. Align it, okay. And then gently fold it at the top part to your tube. And then just roll it back. There, we have a very nice body for this monster. Now we are going to make the eye. So over the years, I saved a lot of buttons from my old clothes, or sometimes you can ask your mom when they purchase a new clothes, um, it will have a little extra button. So I save all the buttons here. You can see there are yellow, blue, red, white buttons. So for this monster, I thought, okay, I can use a good button for the monster's eye. So this is the, the same button. I'm going to Put the glue on. And glue it. Now let me put something here to make it steady. 
and then the googly eye. Okay, now for the mouse. I want to make sure the mouse looks fine. I don't want to mess it up, so I'm going to use the pencil to draw the outline first. I'm going to make a smiling mouse. And then some sharp teeth because it is a meat eater. And now <clears throat> using the Sharpie and follow the line. So this is the outline, right? But I'm going to color it in to make it look better. When I color it in, it will show the contrast. You want to leave that uh, sharp teeth along, just color it from the outside. Now let's take a look. Does it look better? Right? Originally, it looks like a big sharp teeth. Now it looks like a baby teeth. So maybe this is a baby monster. And now we are going to make the hair. So I cut a lot of pipe cleaners and I'm just going to apply some glue to the pipe cleaner and then stick it inside the tube. There are different color different lengths. If you like, you can curl it. There. And now I'm going to make the arms. So I'm going to use those, this push pin, and it is very sharp. So you are going to ask your mom or your dad to use the push pin to help you and poke holes on the side. Be very careful with this push pin. I don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? one side and the other side. And I can use the pencil 
to make the hole a little bit bigger. With the arms, we can push the pipe cleaner inside. And you can fold it up like an arm. And the way I made this finger is I got a shorter pipe cleaner and make a V shape. And then just wrap it around at the end of this arm. So my monster has the finger. Make a V shape. And wrap it around. There. My Cyclop. Okay, so if you don't have pipe cleaner, look around your kitchen. You might be able to find some um, straws. So you can also use the straw. So this is one monster that I made with a straw. And if you don't have googly eye, you can draw one. And then the hair, or I make two horns like that. So these are my Cyclops. I'm going to show Okay, so the next one is a very easy one eye monster that you can also make for the four eye monster. So this is our first one eye monster, Cyclops. Are there any questions? If you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat or in the Q&A section. If there is no question, we are going to move on to the next monster. So for the next monster, it is really, really scary. I'm warning you. So if you think you might get nightmares at night, don't look at the next picture I'm going to show you. If you have younger brothers or sisters right beside you, cover their eyes. Okay, so are you ready? I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. Medusa. Okay, so we are going, oh. Sarah, you have a question? You want to, you want to say something in the Q&A? Okay. So this is the monster. This is the Medusa that I am making. You can see Medusa has a lot of hair. They are all snakes, right? And uh, we are going to use the strips uh, to make the strips. So you can see, you can curl the hair or you can fold the, the hair and Let's see how to make a Medusa. I had a lot of fun making Medusa because each hair is supposed to be a snake, right? 
so we can curl the the, the strips or fold it so the supplies will be all these different strips of paper it doesn't have to be the same width some of them are na very narrow some of them are wide it is fine <clears throat> Like I said, if you don't have googly eyes, there are other ways to make the eye. So, if you don't have this big round shape for the face, it's fine. Just find a paper plate from your house. This is the paper plate that I found in my kitchen. And we're going to make the eyes. Because the background is white, I'm going to use a yellow and uh, what I'm going to do is first uh, I just use a bottle cap from the water bottle and I folded this paper so I can cut two eyes at a time let's just uh, put it on top and trace the outside of this circle then cut it Now I'm going to draw the pupil, starting in the middle with a small black dot, and then just circle it to make it bigger. The other one, start in the middle and make it bigger, turn around, turn around, turn around. We have two eyes. This one I gave her three eyes. Well, this one, let's make it two eyes. You can use glue stick. You can use Elmer's glue. So one eye. The other eye. Okay. What about the like a piggy snout? So here is another one. I think I'm going to give it a blue snout. Okay, a piggy nose. The last thing we are going to make is the the mouth. I think I didn't leave enough space. So I'm just going to move the, the eye a little bit up a little bit and the nose so we give we will leave uh, enough space for a big mouth 
for the big mouth, I'm going to borrow the can. I have the sweet corn can. So let's draw another big circle. At the same time, I'm going to have another white paper underneath because here you can see we're going to make the sharp teeth. So I'm just going to have the white paper underneath and I can cut two circles at the same time. I'm going to cut it in half and for the teeth I'm just going to add, cut some sharp teeth and we can glue it to the Button of the mouse. There we go. We have this mouse ready. For all this hair, it is very interesting to make the hair. For example, I'm going to show you how to make the curls. We are just going to use to this pencil and then wrap it around. There, there is a curl. And I'm going to glue it to the top of the head. For this kind of hair, it is called accordion fold. Have you seen a, an instrument called accordion? So it will be looking like this. <clears throat> the accordion makes the music like that. So this is a strip of paper. We're going to fold one end it's like a, a square, right? Fold it up and then flip this strip. Then fold it up. Then flip the strip. Fold it up. Continue with this process. Just flip it to the other side and fold it. all the way to the top. And there is the accordion fold. And I have pre-made a lot of strips uh, curled up. So I'm going to just go ahead, glue them to this paper plate all over the place.
And I happen to have a craft stick so I can just glue it and then put it on the back of my medusas. And there is medusa. Okay? Okay, any questions? If you don't have questions, then we are moving on to the third project. Have you read the books, Monkey King? Monkey King escorted a monk from China to India. So the book is called Journey to the West. On their way to India, there were a lot of monsters or animal spirits wanted to eat the monk because they believed if they ate the monk, they would be super powerful. They would be immortals. They would never die. The animal spirit would transform into a beautiful young woman in need of help. Spider Lady is one of them, so I made this beautiful spider with eight eyes, eight legs, very colorful. And the fourth, the fourth project we are going to make is from Japan. Every child in Japan knows Momotaro, which means peach boy. So China has a monkey born out of a rock. Japan had, has a boy born out of a peach. Momotaro was very brave, and he went to Monster Island to fight the monsters. So this is the monster. It looks like this. And I made a very easy craft using the paper plate and some basic shape, triangle, circle, and square, rectangle. Then you can make your monsters. So now I have shown you all of my monsters. I would like to see your monster. If you look at our website, you can see a lot of other people's art projects. 
Okay, for example, here is a second grader, Oliver, and he made a sun catcher from last week's program. And we have first grade, Dan Wu, and Dan Wu has made so many art projects. There was leaves, there are uh, floral landscape, and also the woven basket, they are all here on, you can look at the pictures that uh, Dan Wu made. There is also, I think here is a second, third grader, Sonu, who made beautiful, colorful leaves. And then there are also other people, oh, here, the second grade, Aryashi, and Aryashi made uh, this landscape and using the fruit loops and make a beautiful flower. So I bet you can make a lot of either scary or very cute monsters. Just be creative. A lot of you have Legos at home you can make a monster using Lego, right? Or you can use polar bees to make a monster. So ask your mom or your dad to take up a picture of your monster and you can name it Cyclops or you can name it Medusa or you can name it Matthew's monster. And remember when they take the pictures, just the the monster, okay? Not your face, because we want to protect you. Okay, so this is the end of our program. And thank you again for joining us. And next week, we are going to do, oh, I forget, I forgot. This is the place that you can send in your artwork to the Thank you. Okay. Bye, Thank everyone. You.